Let's get into this one with Brock Purdy. A lot of conversation about this. Seems like Cam Newton has become the face of this conversation just because of how real he is talking about Brock Purdy. I say real because he's speaking from his experience and mapping it on to what we see from Brock Purdy. Now, Brock Purdy got the stats that shows you he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. At the same time, we also have experience with this system. We got experience with Kyle Shanahan. We got experience with Jimmy G. We got experience with the 49ers, where it has looked like at times plug and play at the quarterback position. So who gets washed away in that wash? Brock Purdy and his assessment. Is he great or is he I just playing in a great system? That's the conversation, right? Well, Cam, obviously, because he played the position, was an MVP in the NFL. Say what you want. I hate when people say, well, outside of his MVP year, uh, how about I just say inside my MVP year? I, you can't just get an MVP. So we're not going to exclude his MVP year. We're not going to exclude the 15 and one season. We're going to talk about him in totality, right? So the guy has experienced playing quarterback from the mountaintop. He says that Brock Purdy is not someone who's elite, but a game manager, not a game changer. That's his words. So now it's caught fire. Other people chirping in. You pick your side. That's what they doing. Uh, we got right now Nick Wright, who is actually hearing what Cam Newton is saying and echoing it as well. Take a listen. Hey, Cam nailed it. Come on. Oh, oh, hold up. Hold up. I feel just like Cam. I'm not saying Brock Purdy's trash. And what I is did, Brock Purdy? I, so, so listen. Very good. I... I am not even – it's not like I'm giving anyone who could possibly uh, have the nod over Purdy. The nod. Chaverius Ward was an all-pro this year. I don't have him uh, on the okay. list ahead of him. Okay. Kyle Juszczyk's the best fullback in football, but it's the fullback position. Sorry, but I'm not going to put him ahead of him. So, I still had Purdy 10th. So, just show, show him real quick. And maybe you're going to disagree with 8 and 9. Maybe you'd have him 8. But Trent Williams, Christian McCaffrey, Fred Warner, Nicky Bosa, George Kittle – Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, Drake Greenlaw, and Javon Hargrave. Again, if you want to parse that he should be ninth ahead of Hargrave, so be it. That is, and I don't really even care oh, the defensive players ahead of him. I think we all agree. Trent, Christian McCaffrey, Kittle, and Ayuk are better than him. And Debo, when healthy, I think is as well. So, like, it's not a, like, that's not unfair. Well, let, and, and, and since you're not being unfair to him. Yes. First of all, if, if that were true, there's no shame. Okay, so Cam Newton has come out and said he can't be a game changer when you are 10th best on your own team. And I was trying to add him up and I started to add him up and I was like, oh, oh, because that's something that you never put in terms of structure until somebody else does it. It's like, dog, he number 10 if he top 10. And you'd be like, wait a minute. It happens a lot in the NBA all the time. Somebody be like, oh, Kevin Durant ain't top 10. Or somebody say, Kevin Durant is top 10. And you start going through the names, you'd be like, oh, that is tough. <laughs> Steph Curry top 10. Oh, that is tough, right? You got to figure it out after you hear the structure. So Nick Wright went there and broke it down. You know one thing about Nick Wright. He going to break it down. That dude does his work and he displays his work and his process. So, ah. I saw that and I had to agree. Then I had to check myself in agreement to what they're saying. Okay, Brock Purdy's a game manager. Got Brock Purdy is number 10 on his team if he top 10. Then I start saying, why are they making Brock Purdy have to fight their fight? Cam Newton, Nick Wright, others, right? Watch this in life. People will make you fight their fight, right? You know how they do it? They'll start to make you value what they value, but not what's most valuable. What's most valuable to Brock Purdy right now is being the quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers. It's irrelevant how good he is in terms of people's perception. It's certainly relevant on that field how productive he is. But when you take that and now extract it to a conversation that we're having about is he elite? Is he just I? Right? Is he a game manager? Is he a game changer? I hope Brock Purdy ain't out there trying to fight that fight with us because that's how, in part, 
Lamar Jackson, it looked like an AFC championship game got caught up. I've told you stories before about quarterbacks that I know who would listen to the critics. I ain't tripping on them and then go out there and perform trying to silence those same critics. That's what Lamar Jackson got caught up in, trying to silence the critics. Oh, man, come on, dog. I could pass from here and all that. Run, like run, run, not run and escape. Run, run, like you can't get caught, right? He wasn't running like that. He was trying to stay in that pocket, be pretty like that, etc. So Brock Purdy, right now, his name, I have not seen any evidence of him supporting this, but his name is out there in a place where they trying to pressure Brock Purdy to fight our fight. Where do we rank him? Who is he? If he goes out there and balls, guess what? He gonna be perceived better. And then every time, every time he goes through the progression of playing better, we always say, but it's a, but statement, ah, but, and then when he doesn't, then you say, ah, ha. So it's all confirmation bias based on where you perceive him. Where do you perceive Brock Purdy? We were told to perceive him as Mr. Irrelevant. So that's why it's so difficult for so many people to go out there and see Brock Purdy as a baller. Just like it was so difficult and so hard for people to let go in San Francisco that Alex Smith wasn't that dude. And he had his resurgence, but still, all in all, you hold on to it. Baker Mayfield, shot after shot. There's a huge argument about how good Baker Mayfield is. And a lot of people were holding on to he was better than perceived. Well, now we look at Brock Purdy. People are looking at it like, yo, I don't know if he's better than we see. I don't know where to put him. I think he's worse than the record. I think he's worse than his stats. Our perception is off. So that's so important in terms of like what you see from a player, let alone a quarterback, is how was he introduced? How do you get introduced to him? Because you never get a second chance to make that first impression. So if I'm Brock Purdy, I'm staying out of this. I'm talking about mentally. I'm talking about in terms of my energy. I'm talking about in terms of my essence. Don't even engage. Don't even try to set us straight. Ball, dog. It will all set itself straight like Tom Brady did. Number six round pick. What was the number pick? 159 or something like that? Forget the number. Used to be a good number, too. Uh, And Tom Brady just kept steady Eddie. Just kept going. Kept it going to the point where we had to get on board. So I hope he understands it's very irrelevant. Like, I don't understand. The dude's in the Super Bowl, and we're still trying to say game manager, game changer, game elite, all that kind of stuff. So tell me what y'all think about Cam Newton and Nick Wright now joining forces in terms of saying, hey, I don't know where he is, but he's certainly not in the elite category on his own team. Think about it. It's 22 starters, right? And you number 10, you mid-packing almost, right? A little better than the average, barely, like a C plus, B minus, on your own team, let alone league-wide, but his stats say different. Uh, where would you rank Brock Purdy? Let's hear that. And also, should we be looking at this as a comparison by position, or should we just keep them straight forward, straight in the conversation? Compare Brock Purdy to all the other quarterbacks. Is he top 10?